The Horlick students and staff showed off their engineering and manufacturing lab this morning. Our Jeffrey Zimpati takes us there. Hello from Haribo. <laughs> That's Kenosha native Lauren Marshall of Haribo. She was one of several special visitors Tuesday morning at Racine Horlick High School. The school organized the event to celebrate the success of its SME Prime program. It's designed to build manufacturing and engineering curriculums at schools to prepare students for the future. That allows students to really get these hands-on opportunities. They're, they're there, they're making connections. Business partners come into the school and will guest speak in our classes and they see the kids work. The program allowed the school to purchase its own engineering and manufacturing lab. It's here where students are learning valuable skills for in-demand high paying jobs. So we're going to be touring the engineering wing of our school today. It's not the biggest but it sure is one great program in the classroom has 3D printers in it. We have a drive belt for the manufacturing program. And it's very it's a very like think tank room. And it's cool because now next year he's gonna get a new room, even bigger, more stuff, and hopefully we can expand upon it. Horlick Manufacturing and Engineering teacher Jeff Trinka was thrilled to partner with Haribo on a project to design and market their own candy. Students design gummies in different themes, including Horlick, Racine, and a variety of sports. Trinka loved the project, but he does have a secret to share. I'm not really the biggest gummy bear fan, so they didn't know that. <laughs> Students are gaining hands-on experience while working with industry professionals. It's a partnership that's benefiting everyone. In Racine, Jeffrey Zampanti, TMJ4 News.